Um, good afternoon. Uh, Chief White and I wanted to start uh, this week by addressing uh, the violence that this community experienced uh, over the weekend and particularly the shootings that occurred downtown. And I want to start by thanking the Detroit Police Department for their outstanding professionalism, the job they did this weekend. We had five shootings in Greektown, one on the Riverwalk. All six shootings, the shooters were promptly arrested by DPD and are now in custody. Uh, it was a remarkable law enforcement performance. It also shows us how far we have to go. I was down downtown and through Greektown pretty much all afternoon and most of the night on Saturday. And the atmosphere uh, was, was mostly joyful. Uh, people happy, crowds on the street uh, and the like. But when each of the shootings occurred, uh, the response from the police, in just about every case, the police officers heard the shots, responded quickly. A remarkable thing happened. Citizens who were angry pitched in and helped the police, at pointing out shooters and pointing out which way they went. Uh, and of course, we had the cameras uh, throughout the area and uh, officers back in the real-time crime center who were directing uh, the police on the ground exactly uh, where to go. Uh, it was, from a law enforcement standpoint, uh, a, a special night. From the standpoint of the loss of life, it was tragic. And our hearts go out uh, to every one of the victims uh, of the shootings, and in particular uh, to Mr. Daryl Strotter, who is a beloved longtime member of the Greektown community, uh, security guard who was known for his kindness and gentleness, and uh, to see the video of a man standing calmly on the street with no argument going on uh, and to see somebody walk up and just shoot him in the chest and kill him. Uh, it is, uh, it, it, there's just no explanation for it. And we're used to seeing people who are committing crimes who don't want to get arrested. I, I don't understand uh, the decision making uh, because you shoot a gun in Greektown with the police, with the citizens and the cameras, it's virtually 100% certain you're going to be arrested, convicted, uh, and serve a great many years in prison. And uh, the tragedy that befell the victims has a another tragedy to the families of the shooters that these individuals who put a gun under their waistband and thought it was important enough to have a beef that they're not coming back to their house and probably won't in many cases for 20, 30, 40 years. Uh, threw away their lives uh, for uh, a, a moment of conflict. Uh, but uh, law enforcement did what it did and now we're going to talk about the way that we're going to step this up so that it doesn't happen again. Uh, in the first place, a DPD was staffed for our spring staffing, which is pretty heavy. Uh, Chief White is going to tell you that we are immediately going to our midsummer staffing. Uh, we got a weekend of warm weather, but we're not taking any chances. Uh, and uh, we had a very successful summer last summer. DPD is immediately going to its full midsummer staffing throughout this area. But as I say, you had individual shooting people with officers right there. And we also are going to need help from the parents of this community. And we are asking uh, for that help. And the, it has been for as long as I can remember, the curfew in this city is 15 and under have to be in by 10 o'clock or be with an adult. Uh, 16 and 17 year olds can be out to 11. You can't have unaccompanied minors anywhere in the city. This isn't anything new. Uh, and people should uh, know this, but I just want to tell you what I saw. 10.15 at night, I was just driving because I was just immersed myself in what was going on uh, at the corner of uh, Randolph and Monroe, 
uh, just down the street from where we had a murder two hours before, had a shooting 45 minutes before. 10.15 at night, the car in front of me, two doors open up. Two kids jump out that could not have been more than 11 years old. They head for Monroe and the car drives off. 10.15 at night and those children are going into harm's way unaccompanied. And all I could think is there's no way the parents knew that those shootings happened earlier that night. But I also watched large numbers of 12 and 13 year olds. 10 o'clock, 10.30 to 11 o'clock heading toward Greektown. And that's either somebody either dropped them off, or in many cases, I believe what happened is they were dropped off earlier in the day on the river walk, and nobody came back and picked them up. And so they worked their way uh, to the Greek town area. Again, our children being put in harm's way. And let's be clear what we're saying. The five shooters in Greek town, not one of them was by a juvenile. The man who shot Mr. Strada was 33 years old. But we have to face the reality that for whatever reason, Greek town has become an area where two groups beefing with each other show up to settle the beef or people go down looking uh, to start beefs. I don't know why you do it in an area where you're 100% certain to be arrested, but that's what's happening. And we cannot let our children head into these areas uh, unaccompanied. Uh, and for me, this was the emotional roller coaster. During the day, I have to say, I have never seen so many families and so many strollers in downtown Detroit. We had young families and strollers up and down the blocks. You can tell they're, they're proud of their city. And of course, on the river walk where we had another shooting, lots of children, lots of strollers. This is the community that we are trying to protect. Downtown is going to be for everyone. Everyone is going to be welcome, but everyone is also going to be safe, and the same is going to be true uh, on the Riverwalk. And so uh, we are asking for the help of the parents to make sure that the, um, the curfew is honored this weekend. The chief is going to have uh, some elaborate steps to use uh, the 4th Precinct to take curfew violators. And curfew violators, the charge is not against the child. Uh, the charge is against uh, the parents. But we don't want to have those conversations. Um, we can make this city a city where everybody is welcome in every neighborhood and everybody is safe. Uh, but it's going to take the parents uh, and the police to work together. And we're about to do a great deal more on the law enforcement side if the parents will join us uh, we can have a much better summer than we had. And with that, uh, I will turn it over again to Chief White and say, uh, please tell the men and women of the department on behalf of the people of the city, uh, thank you for a job well done this weekend.